final question for you is in terms of what's trending in 2023, in terms of hiring, is it resumes? Is it networking? Is it personal brand? Is it culture fit? I feel that there's so many trends happening. Is it AI? Because we are hearing a lot of AI are creating some of those resumes and companies and even in the academic, they are kind of debating, are we hiring the person or are we hiring a robot creating a resume? So what's happening in the HR world? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what? And I'm not going to claim I can put my finger on one necessary trend. Mm. You know, 12 months ago, I would have say, t- said to you, it's work from home. Uh, and, you know, it's companies trying to adjust to the new environment of working from home. Um, before that, I would say it would be remote hiring uh, and building your teams across countries or even across continents like we do here in North America. Um, I mean, I'm seeing an increase in the four-day work week. Yes. And that one for me is fascinating because it's been pioneered in some European companies and I'm now seeing it become more and more prevalent in North America. Um, but those, I would say, are trends because they all focus on the same thing. Mm-hmm. Finding the best talent is hard. Yes. So. What I would suggest is that the trend should be highlighting yourself in mm-hmm. ways that you are seen and seen to your full potential. Yeah. That's the piece for me, because when a candidate can satisfy the needs of the AI, but attract the human and then interact in a way that does justice to what they've put on paper, um, I would say that, you know, for me, it's people being able to do roles which they would not necessarily have thought they could do previously yes. um, because of location, because of the ability to use Zoom, um, because of taking out the commute, because of being able to flex their schedule around being a working parent. Yes. Um, that for me is the trend of 2023. It's that companies are getting more absolute best talent yeah and do you think yeah, that's that, a trend of love yeah and do you think that companies are doing more customization by individuals these days i think i think companies are realizing and again this is sort of talking to my peers this is what i've seen in my own hiring both in startup environment and in um major corporation um i think companies are going into roles with a set idea of who they're looking for and where they want them. Mm-hmm. And then they're flexing because of the talent out there. Yeah. Um, if a company doesn't realize at the moment that we truly are in the tightest talent market that we've probably ever seen. And even though the beginnings of the recession are beginning to show their effects, we've seen, um, you know, so many different situations of layoffs over this past summer. Um, but companies are now realizing that they are competing for talent. Yeah. So I think, Candidates can hold their standards high um, and companies need to show what's attractive about them. Yeah. Um, that does lead me to one thing, more thing, though. And I, I think this is very important for everybody to be talking about at the moment. Mm-hmm. The biggest trend of 2023 so far is layoffs yeah. and it's restructuring. <clears throat> and that's a, that's a disappointing scenario because I think there are certain industries who aggressively hire to meet growth targets yeah. and weren't, weren't able to sustain them. So I think as much as I would hope that my fellow HR professionals are looking at how to attract the best talent. It's also that HR needs to take a role in the company to say, yeah. how are we doing this? Why are we doing this? And are we hiring the right amount of people? Yeah. Especially in growth environments, because it's massively important that we as the leaders in HR mm-hmm. um, are helping rationalize every piece of hiring, whether it's on making sure that you look at a diverse candidate slate, um, or really asking the question on whether you need your budget to be getting that large, whether it's sustainable and how it's going to roll through into, um, you know, EBITDA, bottom line, whatever the metric is you're judging. Um, yeah. Because if it's not sustainable, then we're going to end up with these up-down cycles. And this is where I think true professionals in HR can make a massive difference. Um, and for me, the, the, the ask is that more HR leaders see themselves as company builders Because I think for too long, and this, I hope, would be a trend going through 2023, that more HR leaders step up and are heard. Because I think for too long, it's been that support act where, you know, you'll sort of, you'll guide and you'll try and keep people within the guardrails. Whereas I think now we've got to embrace the fact that we build companies one human at a time. Mm -hmm. And that means that we've got to offer more. And we can't be okay to sit back and take a a backward seat um, when those hiring conversations, budgeting conversations are happening. 
I, th- I believe HR is becoming a more strategic partner and he has a seat or he or she has a seat on the on the decision making table and they are being awesome. heard these days. Yeah, they should always be part of the decision making process. And I think the best CEOs are understanding that and are bringing their, their, their you know, their HR um, very, very close into that. Yeah, I totally agree. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Dan, I thank you again for taking the time to ask you some, some, some questions which are very beneficial and very practical to job seekers. And again, for the audience, if you have watched us the whole week, please uh, make comments. You can reach to us if you have any other question. So tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Dan, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you.